Okay. Okay, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the Wi-Fi in my room is okay. top-notch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is your next question. Who presented... Darwin? Who presented the theory of evolution? Is it Darwin? Yay! Wow! You are doing Yay. so good! I paid oh my gosh. Like I paid attention good in every subject except for math. You must have good grades. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I can tell. By these, by these answers, I can totally tell. I can totally tell. I pay attention tell. in school. You know what? Kids, pay attention in school. You're gonna yes. need it, okay? You never know. You're going to need gonna... it. That is very, that is very true. You never know. So please pay attention. Okay, this is your next question. Who was the Greek god of dreams? Who was the Greek god of dreams? <laughs> there, I didn't even know there was a god for dreams. What? <laughs> yes, oh, there are contestants who think they know. Who was the Greek god of dreams? Okay, so when you change clue? from... Okay, so when you change from one thing to another, what is that called? Ch change. <laughs> okay, so it's not evolving, it's not evolving into something you're metamorphosis. Okay, oh, the last literally the the, the last half. Yes, it's uh, I actually did I agree. I didn't know that there was a Greek god of dreams, but I do love like the whole Greek mythology. It's just so interesting how they create like this whole like system in their minds of all these different gods and then like two decades later it was like never to be heard of again. So it's yeah. very fascinating. Okay, this attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is your next question. Brothers Grimm wrote which famous children's story? Oh, didn't they write all of them though? But no, no, no. Um, Hans I feel like they wrote. Yay! Ooh, really? Yeah. Oh my god! Yes. Okay. <laughs> Brothers Grimm wrote Hansel and Gretel as well as Rapunzel. But oh. you see, Brothers Grimm wrote a more daunting version of Hansel and Gretel. Grimm tale. I'm I was about to say, they're not called Brothers Grimm for nothing. Not at all. Okay, this is your next one. This is actually a riddle. What goes up but never comes down? Um, up? Do our online contestants mm. think they know what goes up but never comes down? This sounds familiar. Like, I feel like I know this, but I don't. Um, okay, you go something that goes up every year. You have it every year. And you get, like, some people have Christmas? parties. <laughs> what? Some people throw parties. Um, some people get gifts. Oh, the, the, the number of the year that we're in? Like, 2020? Okay, you're close. It's numerically related. Um, you have it every year, and the day is all about you. Oh, a birthday. Okay, but what happens on your birthday? You're turning another... Age? Age? Yay! Okay. Yay. Age goes up, but never comes down. I was like, ah, unless you find, like, a time travel machine? Yeah. That would be interesting. Okay, this is your next question. Brass is an alloy of which two metals? Is it A, gold and silver, or B, copper and zinc? I want to say copper and zinc, but I don't... Did I actually get it? I didn't pay attention yes. to chemistry, too. <laughs> I you know the periodic actually... table song, that's it. You're doing so, so well. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, you have two more questions left. What are the five oceans of the world? The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, um, the Indian Ocean. And then, is there an Antarctic Ocean or something? Okay, 
okay, it's you said it's the Arctic Ocean. It's one more that's like nobody really talks about. Okay, so there's north, there's northeast, west, and southern ocean. Yeah, <laughs> there's a southern ocean. There's I did a not southern know that. ocean. There's a southern ocean. I think this ocean is like way south, so like nobody really like has to like deal with it. And I don't think anything's like happens in the southern ocean, so Oh. Okay. Okay, this one's for the win. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. How many sides does a heptagon have? Hept, that's seven, so seven sides. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I Yay. Oh my gosh, you did so good on trivia. Thank you. I feel very so, I feel very smart. <laughs> you should. I'm very, very impressed. I think you may have only gotten like one wrong, and that was the one about Greek mythology. But you did yeah. so so and well. The math, the math one was kind of yeah. You know what? You were close. You were close. Like, we'll, we'll just give that to you. We'll just give it to you. <laughs> Okay, but before you go, would you mind either singing for us or playing one of your instruments for us? Ooh, sure, yeah, of course. Oh my gosh, they're I so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh God, <laughs> sorry. I'm just gonna play a song that I wrote, I guess. Um, okay. Um, hold on. Everyone, capo. Yes, I want a vacation to Ginger Beach. I, I miss I it like very much. You. I like everything that you say you don't like about you. I like the wrinkles in your eyes when you smile about something new. I like you. And I guess I never said that to your face, it's true. You'll never feel the way I feel. Cause you make me fall every time you smile. I cannot but lose myself in those eyes. When you talk, when you leave. Can't you see it's not up to me? Cause I can't help but fall in love Every time I see you smiling back at me Okay, and that's all I will do. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful! Thank you. That is so pretty! Thanks. That was the first song I wrote in quarantine. I hope I can get it out soon. Yes, definitely. If you do, please let everyone know because we cannot wait to hear the full song. But before you go, where can everyone find you and keep up with you? I am at Nina Lou on Instagram. I'm at 